Hey, what's up with you guys? This is Erfan here from SmartyIncubator.com and welcome to another video. In today's video, uh, I want to show you there's also a gold incubator on two different accounts. And also I want to break out the, uh, break down the trade that happened on GPUSD on a five minute time frame uh, in July 26th. Today's date is July 20th, but this trade was a really good one. And I want to show you exactly why you took this trade and why you should do the same thing when you see this, this exact same setup. So guys, if you're following me for long enough, you know that I'm only using one strategy, which is order block, smart money concepts. And I have over 100 videos only talking about the same strategy over and over. So there's a reason that that I'm doing it because it actually works. I've tested it. I'm breaking down all my uh, trades every single day so you can literally understand what I'm doing and why you need to backtest the same thing and see how it works for you. So let me show you uh, the results. The results of Gold Incubator on uh, two different accounts first. The first one is this $1,000 account with that we are up 63.93% in profit and the profit is $670. The last trading day was July 29th, yesterday, today is Sunday, uh, Saturday. So the market closed 63.93% profit. So this is our brand new account on $5,000 uh, account and it's running on low risk preset file and it's currently up 2.81% in profit with a drawdown below 5%. So the reason that the drawdown was kind of uh, higher for the pre uh, for the previous account was because we were building uh, equity stop protection that time and unfortunately the programmer forgot to turn it off and that's why we got to stop out but right now this is built in and uh, it, it is impossible that the drawdown uh, you know exceeds certain percentage so it's always protected your account is always protected at all time and uh the profit is also consistent every single month so right now 2.81 percent is what we are up uh and it's five thousand one hundred forty dollars right now from july 17th all the way to july 29th and if, if i want to show you the vps account it looks like this with the news indicator on the screen and the account history right here so as you can see guys the account history is showing all the profits all the losses everything is right here so let me break down this trade for you by doing a little bit of replay for you and uh, as you know guys i only trade during new york session and i start at 8 in the morning eastern standard time so let's say that i'm uh <clears throat> i started looking at charts analyzing all this stuff at exactly 8 a.m so as you can see guys we have multiple break of a chart uh, Break of structures on five minute time frame that's showing us that the trend is a downtrend because of the lower lows and lower highs that the market created so as you can see guys we have lower lows and lower highs and the way it works is that you just need to analyze the market by seeing uh by identifying support and resistance levels first and see if they're broken or not as you can see they are broken this support level is broken this support level is broken as well so it means that the market is trying to trend towards downside okay so this is the first thing you need to pay attention to and after that i was just waiting for uh i, I was actually looking for high probability high, pro, high probability supply and demand zones both of them but i couldn't find anything because there was no gap so if you don't know what they are guys i highly recommend you to watch my other videos that i have on my channel i can guarantee you that you can literally learn this strategy and make literally over 10 percent a month consistently <clears throat> So right now there is nothing, there's no high probability supply or demand zone. I believe there is one here, yes, there is one here. There's a high probability supply zone exactly right here. See, in order to find a high probability supply zone, you need to find the last bullish candle. And then after that, you find the first candle that get out of the zone, which is this one. And the candle after that is this one right here. So there's a tiny little bit of gap between this candle and this zone here, which makes this zone a high probability supply zone. So as I said, watch my other videos and you can literally understand what it is. So it means that I just need to wait for the price to tap into this level. And if it gives me a good confirmation to sell, then I do that. So I was just waiting and waiting. And then I noticed that I have uh, a high probability order block. So I did have a high probability demand zone right here, but it's kind of a more, um, it's kind of more advanced method to, to identify high quality order blocks sometimes they uh, like the next candle 
filling the gap super super fast and you need to jump into the trade uh really quickly so for example if i take the last two candles which i'm allowed to do that up to two more than two you don't have to, i mean you shouldn't do that and then you see that this is the first candle that got out of the zone the next candle after that is this one that literally filled in the gap super fast and we got two more confirmations after that so you can literally take a buy trade after seeing this candle that formed at the zone see and what i can do i can put my buy stop here i can put my stop loss below that and then uh, i mean the world the sky's the limit so i can find other high, uh, other support and resistance levels and then i can take my tp around those areas but in this case since i'm uh, taking a buy trade then i need to find the next uh resistance level which is for example this one and then what I can do is just to take my TP around it, which I can literally do that. So see so guys, it's super, super easy. I can take a one to two trade by just identifying high protein order blocks. So this is the first one, but this is not what I took. <clears throat> what I took was this candle here. I think this candle right here. So this is the last bearish candle. The first candle that got out of the zone is this one right here this one right here and the next thing after that never filled it uh, never actually tapped into this zone so it means there is a tiny little bit of gap in between that makes this zone a high protein demand zone so i was just waiting for the price to tap into my level and i was just waiting and waiting it was a long wait and uh, let me see so i also found uh this high protein order block this is what i took sorry guys there's so many of them that i sometimes take and it you know forget which ones i exactly took but uh, so far we have this high priority demands on here and this one right here why because we uh, we find the last bearish candle in order to find a high priority demand zone and we find the first candle that get out of the zone which is this the next candle after that never tapped into the zone and it makes this order block a high priority order block so just waited for the next candle was this one and then i noticed that this candle literally formed so what i could do and what i did was put my buy stop above this and then there are two scenarios you can either put your stop loss below the candle or below the zone and then you can literally take your tp like one to one minimum and this is exactly what happened so it's, guys if i wanted to put my stop loss below the candle i would have got a stopped out but since it was below the level it was really close to a stop me out but it didn't that's what i'm saying it's very very uh i mean so much better to put it below the zone not below the candle and it's uh literally like two, two pips away to stop me out but it it wasn't oh no sorry i had my i had my bias stop above this candle so it wasn't triggered so in this case i could put it here and trigger my entry yeah it wasn't uh triggered if i wanted to jump into the trade then yes I probably would have got it stopped out but in this case i wouldn't because this one wasn't triggered yet and it just came down boom went up uh, smashed my tp it was a really good a good trade because, and it was for a few days ago that's why i kind of forgot which one exactly i took this one never tapped into and this one got disrespected because it broke out of it it broke above it so that's why we don't really consider it anymore so that's it guys for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so next time when i upload a video you'll get notified as well so if you have any question regarding goldie incubator about automation system and all this kind of stuff uh feel free to drop your comment below this video and i personally get back to you and answer all your questions asap thank you so much for watching this video again and have a profitable week